Good afternoon. Hello. We're going to be making some fun matchbook cards today and look at these new sneak peek items. So it'll be very fun. So if you have your paper, you'll create along with us. <laughs> and um, otherwise, but of course, I have a couple of announcements quickly. The new catalog, which starts in May, you will get automatically if you have made a purchase with me of what, about $50 in the last six months or so. If you haven't and are not currently working with another demonstrator, because if you are, please get your catalog from them. You may go request a free catalog for me. I send them out free and I would love to be your demonstrator. We, okay. we send them out. <laughs> and Karen doesn't send them out. That's right. I, I have a, well, you run the I, post office. Yes. That's, that's your... Yeah, but Tim, Tim is the errand running, and he puts labels on. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's kind of your department. Yeah. He's the shipping department. I am. The did you see? I don't know how many of you saw. I did post a story about her bracelets on her Facebook page and I'm her the, blog yesterday. I'm the wingman. And you guys' responses have been so fun. We just love you guys. It is so fun. <laughs> and I'm so. Karen's wingman. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I've got enough pieces cut for four cards today. Oh, you're going to be busy. That is awesome. I love the card kit this month that I'm sending out. It is with this gorgeous paper that's an online paper that it's for, you can order now. It is, I have so many gorgeous cards to show with this too. This is um, the flowering zinnias and this is called the spanner card. You always get one fun fold and then a couple of other lovely cards for placing a minimum $50 order with me. And this month there's the retiring list. Uh, so, and then there's some new online exclusives. So there's lots to choose. Always call me if you have any questions. Um, you can decide to get the starter kit and get all those things that are on sale, even cheaper. So do whatever, but just call me. Life is all good. And, and I've oh, got, I know. I've got an announcement. Oh, you do have an announcement. Oh, okay. So story time with Tim, you know. Twins home opener today. Oh, yes. And it's a gorgeous day. It's a little windy, but it's gorgeous. It's a little cool, but it's... it's it I'm going out on the deck right after this. So. Could be snowing. Yep. But our son and grandson always go and they take me with a lot of times. Mm -hmm. But they're in New York, so... Mm -hmm. Watching some of the other games. Um, I do have a quick story, too, of something I forgot. Uh, on Monday nights, I do chatting over cards, and someone asked, when are you showing the fine line cards? Because at every catalog, one of the things my team does is it's optional. For whoever wants to can do card swaps, and then I put them on my blog. I share them on a Monday night, and I have people go vote. And three people that vote, not the winners of the card, but people that vote get uh, prizes of accessories for me. So I couldn't find my cards anywhere. And I thought, did I mix them up with my others? That's what I said. I thought I must have mixed them up and I couldn't find them. So I called Holly and she said, oh, I forgot to give them to you. We were so busy. So tomorrow, Holly and I are going live at one o'clock right here. Just letting you know to show the fine line swaps. And then there will be voting for a week. So you'll want to go vote because there will be um, uh, three prizes for the winners. And it's just something fun we do with our team. And then we put, if they have links, to their to a blog or something we put that on so you can go follow them love to have you interact with my downline and if they don't there's they're still in there it's their name it's so fun it's just one of the many fun things we do together but anyway i was really relieved it wasn't me i just thought you know i'm trying to look through all these stacks and cards all just over so we'll see you tomorrow at one <laughs> I, I do always assume that it that no, it was me <laughs> sometimes you blame me okay yes you can use directional paper today so you will be okay uh, first, though, we do have, oh, the show the host code, and then we have cards. 242. Okay. And we just love getting cards. So let's see. We have from Vesta Streeb our, uh, oh, one of our favorite cards numbers. Okay. Just a nice thank you card. This paper, look how adorable this is, just with a little punch and then put on some background paper. This paper is yes. just stunning. Then we have Margaret Springer from Michigan. Oh, we have still some Easter cards. How stinking cute is this? Oh, that is a, oh, look at that. Happy Easter. That is darling. And it's a small card put on a big card, which is so great. Do they misspell it? Do they misspell happy? It's happy. Uh, it's happy. Oh, it's a joke. It's like, it, <laughs> 
sometimes I have trouble keeping up with Tim, you know, but what, what, what can no. we say? Um, I, uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, Stephanie, I loved her comment when I first came on. She said, well, I wanted to say hi. The live is going to be at dinner time over here. I'm trying to get out of dinner by suggesting leftovers. <laughs> oh, we feel your pain. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty fun. <laughs> then we have Cindy Otten from California, who's just wonderful about sending cards too. Look at this pretty card. Thank you, Easter. Um, butterflies are such a, uh, a thing representing Easter too. That is just really a lovely card. It is. It's got all those little things. That's, oh, and she did the inside too. Very fun. And then we have uh, did you, oh, a thank you card. We took um okay, I, I'm having more trouble. Um Carlos, Carlos Hahn, and you are not Carlos. And <laughs> we met, and I forgot to really write down your name, but we met you. <laughs> And it was so fun. That is gorgeous. So this is the fraction card. We're going to bring this back again sometime. Do you know I often do them with squares? But this is another variation. Do you notice how you can do those with anything? So you start with your middle piece, what you're going to do. And look how cool that is with a rectangle. Oh, so thank you. That is wonderful. North Carolina. Okay. Oh, next year. Oh. But still Carlos Hans. You just must go by Carlos, but I can't. Think. But anyway, I'll call you Carlos. But um, Raleigh is where we're going to be with next March for Stampin' Up. So how fun. So this is from Carlos and Will. Oh, oh, it is Carlos. Okay. I don't, I don't see Carlos. I am so confused. Okay. <laughs> I thought you once told me that wasn't really your name, but I've always called you that. So now I know. Okay. Carlos and Will, thank you. Look at how lovely this is. I just love beautiful, simple cards. The paper does the work. We've got the thanks and they're just layered on there. That is so pretty. Oh, and the inside. This is really interesting. This is really a beautiful inside. So we have, you know, often some like this goes on the outside. I just love that. That is beautiful. It just extends into the inside. Oh, it's spelled Carlos, but it's female. So it's pronounced Carlos. Carlos, am I doing that right? See, if it had an A-S on it, I would know that. The O-S is what's always throwing me off. So interesting. Okay, so, uh, now try to remember that. We love names behind everything. I love stories behind everything, behind names, everything. <laughs> it's so fun. Uh, Becky Lynn Sadowski. Rebecca, oh. Becky Lynn. Oh, how pretty is that? This is, oh, and a lovely thank you. Love seeing that. That is wonderful. And I love this new hummingbird. Beautiful. Kathy Wood from Kentucky. Oh, it's so fun to have Easter cards. We got all those Easter. We got the three Easter bunnies. That is beautiful. Karen Moxic. Karen, three Easter eggs or bunnies? Oh, did I say bunnies? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Tim. Oh, my goodness. And to think I worry about you. Yeah. <laughs> really. But words, words just disappear. So Karen, because a hatched egg actually, I think bunnies come out of a hatched egg. Yeah, don't that's they? right. That's right. <laughs> well, see. Karen Mugzicki from Michigan, Upper Peninsula. Oh, is this a fun? Oh, look Ooh. at this. He has risen. Oh, with a with the fun fold like that. <laughs> I love what she did in the front too, and it just kind of goes with the inside. Look how she's done a square there, and then the words right across. The so Bible this verse. looks very simple. She's got her Bible verse. That is gorgeous. This is, you know, when I did videos on this, I have about five of them on my channel. And they've been one of my most popular things because I teach how to make this fold with the story. Who here has seen those? I'll have to put one of those up again. I'll have to do it again sometime and tell stories because I just love that. I like <laughs> Oh, it is so fun to hear from you that different people that we met. Oh, this is beautiful. This is Ooh. Connie Pullman from Nebraska. Look at that. Oh, look at those dies. Now, this is not a Stampin' Up! one, but that is gorgeous. Look at all those fun little layers. Just... That's gorgeous. I only say that so nobody asks me what page is on. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay, count the birds. Count the birds. One, uh -huh. oh. two, three. All right. Colleen Anderson from North Dakota. Oh, okay. Is this from the Paper Pumpkin? Because I never opened this one because we were traveling. 
so somebody can tell me, is this it? This is a slim line and it looks like it might be that. Someone's going, and it, I know it had a little stamp in it. So how cute is that? Yeah, name stories are really fun. We could really get into that someday. So that would be, we have so many things. Debbie Moose from Minnesota. And, oh, adorable. Keep, keep the letter because I haven't read it. Well, he's keeping everything, but keep them together is what I'm saying. But look how pretty this is. And we've got the squares here and then that right there. Beautiful. And a lovely inside. And then my last one, this is, did you guys know that this month is afternoon tea month? I'm going to have to have a tea party here and we'll, we'll work on a kit or something in April because... I love my afternoon tea. I, I always have afternoon tea. Show something. There was mm -hmm. some, something that was supposed to be on there, and it's, it's stacked to the inside. Oh, the <laughs> so now we have a decorated inside. I think. Uh, um, I don't think they intended to do. No, that. I no. I think we did that in opening it. So sorry about that. Let's see if we can uh, figure that out here. I think it's just slid off. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here. I don't know where she had it planned, but I'm putting it, it right there. Been, yeah, doesn't matter. But beautiful. Yes. Okay, so we'll have to think about some kind of a tea party. Who who are my tea drinkers? I, I actually like coffee and tea, so I just kind of like anything. Mm -hmm. um, this is um, one of those new, newer sets. I just love this. So here's my tea party card. And this is a thank you from um, Sharon Schleifer or Lee. I'll call her Lee because that's what she's on here. Can I just say, uh -huh. that, Karen, you a lot of times say, Coffee, tea, or me? Oh, do I? Okay. In, in your dreams. <laughs> and she sent this. Thanks for finding me a good home. She said she'd like this to go to someone, someone who watches my video. So I'm going to open this just so it is brand new. So I just have to show you. It's a current die because when I give away things of my own, they're always discontinued things. I do that quite often. But all I need to do is see your name, comment, share. All of that is wonderful. Hit subscribe, anything where your name will show up. These are the nested essential dies. And they're one of my favorite dies. Look at this. Whoa, so I thought so I have to open this to show because otherwise yeah. you're not going to understand. Look at these three shapes and they're all nested. This is a phenomenal, a phenomenal gift. So thank you, Sharon. And how wonderful. She ordered two by mistake. And instead of returning it, she just gave it to me to give to one of you guys. I just think for, what a community. For some of us, does this make a basket or what's the nesting part? They fit inside each other. Yeah. So they can make frames. So you could use these to make little frames. And okay. So they have all these. They different, nest has had like the nesting dolls. Yeah. So it's kind of more like that. But I love these shapes. This is absolutely fabulous. And I just wanted to put Ooh, it like this. So you, I'll let side. you put that together. Sharon, that is an amazing, amazing gift. So thank you. Um, some of you are talking about the different, the different teas you drink. Yeah, isn't that nice? What a very generous gift. So that'd be really, really fun. And I use that one all the time. You um, see that in a lot of cards that I make. All right, let's get into today's project. Now, part of the reason, am I, am I back? Well, I was just going to say, when we were traveling, this was, I said at the end that I had one more crate with a show, but I couldn't find it because the car was so packed. Okay, this is it. I had this. This was the other one we were going to do. And our car is pretty much empty now. In that, well, and now it's empty. And I realized all the cards that I'd made, of course, um, some of them were going to be discontinued. So I'd better do it this month. <laughs> And so I just added some preview. So isn't that fun how we can just kind of go around? So <laughs> let us. <laughs> so we're going to have fun. Uh, one of the things I wanted to point out about where are all the die cards that we were showing? Uh, did I stick them somewhere? That? All the cards we had at the beginning. Did you oh, take them? Right here. Under my hat. Oh, under his hat. Okay. So what I wanted to show, we're going to make this one first. I just love this one. Um, but I was going to show, uh, look how cute these are. This is the Just Kitten paper. <laughs> and I love all these things with books. Look at the bookshelf and then nothing like reading under tent. Or I always think of reading under the shirt, uh, the, the sheets with a flashlight. And Karen did that when she was <laughs> I kid. did. Yes. So I could stay up late because you just have to finish that book. And I love, um, we love giving books as gifts. So, so I just thought these would both be really cute for cards for kids with a book. But I also thought, do you see how they hold? Let's see which one has the, whoop, they hold 
don't like this one. This, whoop, this one Ooh. has a gift card in it. Isn't that just adorable? <laughs> so what a fun way. And what I, the gift card I would put in, I would put in either for a bookstore, if you're going to take them shopping, you know, we do half price books. So that would be perfect for us to give, but also it could be a coffee shop card with a note. So this is Starbucks, but, but with a note, um, good for a reading time at Starbucks with grandma or auntie or whoever you are to them, your neighbor, um, you know, with treats and reading. Cause I, one of the things we have always loved to do if we have just one grandchild and we have time, we would just all go sit and do our own reading. So I think this is a, a cute little interactive kind of a card. Vicki said she spent many nights as a teenager undercover reading. <laughs> so, and you know, these papers are retiring and they have all these little different pictures. We're going to, and I just, oh, and here's another one. So that one I had left to make, they have all these different characters reading. So there's all these stories and then you can fussy cut. But I think, uh, ooh, UPS is out here. And every time they come, we wonder if it's a, I might have to lose you for a minute. To, mm -hmm. um, but aren't these all just really cute for books on, and for giving books? And I just love giving books. Okay, so we'll come back to that. All I know is that he just threw, threw the package on the floor. Okay. Diane says, Karen, you're a reader. I wish I was, but it puts me to sleep. <laughs> I forget what I even have to reread. <laughs> uh, well, I love to read, but sometimes it'll put me to sleep too. <laughs> but some people, I know people that like to read a couple chapters in bed at night because it helps them go to sleep. Now, what I wanted to say about this, this is a new die. And I really like this, mm -hmm. Tim. This is just gorgeous with this airplane. So this is the die. These are papers. And this is one of the words from the stamp set. You're the best, plain and simple. I wanted to just say this was a perfect one for me. If we change the plain, P-L-A-I-N. Yep. Because that really does describe me. And I thought you might not see this compliment. But I love the simple things in life. And I like plainness. You know, I don't wear jewelry. I don't dress. I, you know, I'm not in doll. I'm just very plain and simple. So I will take that as a compliment. You can use, use that on the card for me. <laughs> but otherwise, it'd be more for, for, the, for the other. Okay. So you can see. And then these cards. Look at this paper. There are six of these on each sheet of, um, you get two sheets, so you, you would get 12 of these in a pack of paper. You can make 12 cards, and they all are a little different, but aren't they just beautiful? Mm -hmm. So I think all of these, and then this one is Sweet as Honey, oh, I like and I just popped up some of the honey pots. This paper's going to, and then we have another honey pot inside. So... Uh, Janet said, reading helps me go to sleep. If I pick a slightly boring book, no thrillers. Oh, you know, I used to travel. I used to travel a lot by myself to Chicago, St. Louis. I would make the rounds by myself. I would listen to books on tape uh, and murder mysteries because it would keep me awake. So that's when you want those kind of books, right? <laughs> and where does the word honeypot come from? I don't know. Hey, you do. Should you, it's it's, it's uh, Winnie the Pooh, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I think it is. we're going to say it is. And I'm not, a, you know, I don't think I've ever read that. But okay. I think so I here are your pieces. We just have half a sheet of cardstock. But it's not scored. I'm going to score it. Okay. And then we have a four by four piece and two three and a quarter inch squares piece. I mean, the inside piece could be either of these. This is going to go on the inside. So the white could be either of these. So whatever you have. And then one small piece for the bottom. Uh, Diane says she's a plain Jane also. Yep, I like that. <laughs> I have never had a perm or colored my hair. How about that? So I said, <laughs> oh, we should play that. Never have I ever. <laughs> Our grandkids love playing that game and they get it all mixed up and confused. It's so complicated. But, but I have never. <laughs> No, I'm the one that gets confused. Oh, and they love teasing Grandpa because he doesn't get it I at all. Get it. <laughs> so he just does the most outlandish mean? things that just <laughs> anyway misses the point. So anyway, <laughs> oh, Pat says she uh, listens to murder mysteries too when she's driving. Oh, I love that. Now Tim and I, when we travel together, we listen to a lot of podcasts and things like that, and that's fun too. So here is my piece, and now these are going to fit into. A regular size envelope. They're going to be just a little bit shorter. Do you see there? They're five and a quarter instead of five and a half. But you aren't going to notice. And that's because we want the little tuck-in spot under here. 
So the easiest way, and of course on the project sheet are all the dimensions, but the easiest way to think of this, this is what I like to do. I need a one inch lip at the bottom. I'm gonna close that up. And I already told you the card has to be a little bit smaller. Usually they're five and a half, but we need this one to be five and a quarter. So I'm gonna do it at five and a quarter. And by just visualizing that, look, you have got your Ooh. perfect little thing. I So I just think it's really easy to think of it that way. Now I'm going to, I'm going to use a stapler and I forgot to mention that on there, but you could also use, you could use um, even little uh, glue dots or anything sticky along here to keep it. I just like using a stapler and a stapler. The best tip is to do it from the back end. I always have trouble getting it down low enough. Okay. I'm going to make it really low. I'm going to do it from the back end. Whoa, <laughs> that one didn't work. Let's do that again. Uh, I should probably put it flat, right? Okay. I'm doing it on the back so you see this and not this. This will be covered with paper. Right oh, good. Here. I'm glad. So that's why we're doing <clears throat> this way, just to keep this a little cleaner. Okay. And then I'm going to pound, and this would have been something for Tim. Oh, you didn't talk about perms. I just love that. <laughs> you know, I, I think my parents even knew I was doing that, but how can you stop someone who loves to read? You know, that's really an okay thing. I'm going to do this to just mash them flatter to see how that's a lot mm -hmm. flatter than that. But you could, you could use it. I should have brought a hammer out, Tim. You could have just mm -hmm. had fun with that, you know? And then I'm just going to see if this fits inside. And this fits perfectly. Now, if it's a little too tight, all you're going to do is just trim a little at the end so it won't matter. So you just will make it. So here's our, our matchbook card. Isn't that just simple? This is called a matchbook. And you could put, I showed a gift card in here. You could also put packages of candy. You could put little gifts. You could use these for a lot of different things. This to me is a go-to fun fold card because, uh, and it's a great way for using up paper to make more, um, to get more, to make more paper, but to get more. Okay. So this is four and a quarter wide. So our next part's going to be four inches and we're going to just do four inches square. So how easy is that? And then three and three quarter inch square by there. So we'll put this on. And this will go on the front. And, oh, and you know, this is what I often do. I'm going to just do this because I love doing this. The rest of them, I'll use the other, but I like to point out, I love doing my assembly this way. I would attach. So if I'm making 20 of these for a card swap, which I am, Good. <laughs> I would do all of this at the table with my, see, like I did. But then I can do this part sitting in the chair in the evening. Do you see how this is just going to fit on there? And she does. So how cool is that? And then this is one inch, if you remember, we folded up. So then this would be three quarters of an inch by four inches wide. And then the last one goes on the inside. Now today, I for, you know what I forgot to bring out? I forgot to bring out those dies. We'll have to do them again. I... I can do that at the end if people want to see them. I totally forgot. Um, I, I'm going to actually, oh. on the table out there, yep. there is a, a black open box. Yep. And it has all these dies in it. Bring the whole box okay. out. We'll see. see it. And I'm okay. Let you have it till story time. Huh? When she gets done, there's probably mm -hmm. about 10 feet of this, this empty. Yeah, I know. I all know. piled up. <laughs> No, and you guys all know we get these all over the house. I don't, I don't know where they appear to. Um, okay, <laughs> so I'm going to do um, um, and, and well, I was going to have Tim do one here, so I'm going to set this aside for Tim, so we can each work on one. And I thought I would do this other one. Oh, I think he's back already. I am. Okay, so. You know that when I ever I do dies, actually I have Luann on Tuesday night comes over and does dies. So look at this. Here's my whole bag of dies. Isn't that cool? So to put this on, I'm going to take one of those and one of those and one of oh these. Oh my goodness, you're assembling an airplane? Yes. And I'm going to, since you mentioned that, I'll tear that off. Yeah. <laughs> 
And then I am going to put this part on. Again, I use glue dots whenever I can. So this will be my, I think this is so fun. I'm going to put that on. Yeah, that's easy. And now here's my next one. So this one has a broad spot right there. So I'll put that on. And, and that's good because my propeller is going to go on it. So that'll be nice and flat. But I'm going to take these and squeeze them to put on the others, the other spot. Okay, so I'll put one there. It's kind of like squeeze or squish. Yeah, I don't put I don't put tons on because I'm okay if they're a little free floating. Maybe I should put one oh, more on the top here. They have, yeah, to they have to fly, sure. You know, and uh, okay, so you can see this is going to fit right over this. And this is so lovely in so many colors. I just picked two colors out of this paper. I hadn't designed my card yet. So I just picked two colors that were in the paper and knew I could make a bunch. And then for this last one, this is the propeller. So do you see how I squeeze that and then I put it on here and I'm going to squeeze it even more. So I just want it really light and I'm just going to lightly set it on there so it can be popped up kind of like a propeller. And it can spin. So isn't that cool? And then I can just add my little things there. I um, like it. And uh, oh, Mary, you're just you're recovering from rotator cuffs. Or, oh my goodness! I uh, oh, I hope that goes well. I I know those are slow recovery. We need you back to crafting. Gina says, "Would you show us how you start your roll of glue dots to get them to cough the way you do? You can get your oh, you might uh, have a roll that was done the reverse way." There were a batch of those. I have some of those too. <laughs> so I'm thinking. <laughs> so anyway, I thought this was fun. So Tim, I wanted you. Here, we'll each make one. I'm going to have you do this other kid's one. Okay. So we're going to put this girl on here. Do you want me to score for you? So I'll just talk over the scoring again. Yes. Do you need more of these? Uh, no, I'm done with that. So we all remember. So it's really scoring at one. Whoops. At one, I'm messing yours up. You don't care. And six and a quarter, if you yeah, want the I exact measurements. I care a lot. I like thinking of it as I build a card, but see, it'll be hidden. Okay. I do that, and then I know that's going to be five and a quarter. Okay. So they're going to tuck right in. Okay. So you're going to work on your base card, and you can see what you do with that. And Ooh. I'm going to work on a, one more base card. So this is the end of the base card. So I'm going to do my one inch. Okay, does this go close to the bottom? Or close yes, to close the to the bottom. As close as you can get to the bottom. Whoa, that's close. Yep, Ooh, you did good. And then five and a quarter. Oh, you got closer than I ever get. Look at that. Yours won't have any problem. Okay. Okay. So you got. I will put the this on, and you will assemble. This back shows you. Look, we've got the fishing, the red wagon. Oh, so many cute okay. things. That's so, going to go on that. Okay. Um. So who has? Uh, let's see. Oh, Melinda, you're recovering from hip replacement surgery. Uh, yeah, that's a, just think, you guys that are recovering, at least now you'll be able to sit outside, I hope. I think the winter gets so long. I said, aren't you glad to be on that side of surgery? <laughs> that's a, that's a um, yes, and have a good recovery. I said, that is a, very hard. Okay. Uh, and Gail, you fractured your arm too. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and we can't blame that all on crafting, can we? Okay, and then this. Goes on there. Goes on there. See, I just love how easy. This is another great project if you work with kids. Or if you have friends over to craft, do you see how you can just put out paper and people can make their own? You could all do different things because you need so few supplies, which I think just makes it really fun. I love this paper also has a child in a wheelchair. I said, and we have a child in a wheelchair, so that's always a fun thing. Now, you're going to probably want to cover. Your one might be a little low, but that's okay. It's not going to matter. So I would just make that low so it covers. Yeah, like that. Make it all. Does that make sense? So you're mm -hmm. covering the, the, the little thing. Perfect. And then you're going to put this person wherever you want it. Where it yep. So where are my... Here they are. Where would you like this? on the shag carpeting, reading a book. So the stamp set, I think, that goes with this, I think is carrying over. But this paper, I love the paper because the paper just stands alone. 
Um, yeah. The, oh boy. We have uh, people that would do that. If you give a card in person and you have a child, that's a climber, how adorable would that be? Like, remember when? <laughs> I think See? that's perfect. See? <laughs> okay. I love it. No. Okay. Oh, you can't do it. Go but ahead. I was thinking about your, you have a great niece who just was always climbing on everything, you know, and if you ever caught him reading, wouldn't that be a fun, you know, you're telling the story with the card and here's a carpet. She can be down on the carpet too. She can be anywhere you want her to be. Okay. This is the hard part, but it's also the fun part. It's the part kids love doing. They could put a whole bunch of kids on there. <laughs> okay. okay. How about okay. that? Um, yep. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Kate, okay. and then on well, the, what are we doing with this? Do we put that in? Oh, and that just goes on the inside. Well, let's do it. Okay, well, we might done, as well finish we're not it. Done yet. Okay, now I'm going to take this one. A couple things I'm going to here. I'm going to on purpose uh, put these too high just so I can show you what I mean. Why am I having trouble? I, I think I need to do this on the ground. Okay. Much better. Okay. Do you see how this is really too high? Uh, th this was probably right. But when I put this in now, you see how this oh. isn't going to fit. So that's what I was just talking about. So but it really, doing it on purpose. I did it on purpose. Yes. Because all Let's I will pretend. do is just cut a little bit of this off. Oh, so a, I like things that are just really forgiving. That so way. nice. So I don't have to take out the staples. Perfect. Do it wrong and it's just still, to teach them. Yeah. Well, and there's still plenty of room to put in here. <laughs> so that's <clears> great. <throat> okay. Now, where's the rest of it? Well, this is what I wanted to use. And I need a three and three quarter by three and three quarter. And, you know, typically I would just go for three and three quarter, but I kind of wanted to highlight the part that I wanted. I chose to highlight this part, so I just wanted to show how we go through that. Should we highlight mm. a different part, like down here? Mm. Um, I don't know, but I love thistles. Yes, isn't this pretty? And these leftover pieces I will use for something. Okay, let's decide I'm going to highlight down here this time. So I want that to kind of be my top. I'm going to go this way because I'm just going to have strips left over anyway. That, um, and one of these will go down here. And then I'm going to go three and three quarter and see if I like this. Do I like this at three and three quarter? Yeah, yeah I like I that you yellow. Do. do you? I think you do. Yeah. I think you like And it. this will be beautiful oh, on nice. something else. And then I will look at this to see if I need to, because I can always cut more off there, but I think I like it like this. What do you think? Yep. Okay. So you can see I'm cutting out the parts. Same I would do. This is the Thoughtful Journey paper, and it's all different scenery. Uh, and we're only going to get one out of here. We could go smaller and do a three by three and then do more layers. But I don't mind this because I'm going to find other things to do with the strips. So that's totally fine by me. So I'm going to have this. Uh, and where, oh, here's my other part. And then I have this part left over and we're going to use this side. So okay. here I want four. By three and three quarters, which is tricky. I could have done that sooner, but we'll do it. We can, we can do it. I just have to hold, hold it down while it's there. There. Ooh. So this is how I would go about kind of figuring what else we want on here. I think these cards are just fabulous. Fabulous. Put this one on and look how quickly they come together. This one with the scenery, all I did was to add words because I just think the paper here totally does the whole thing. Okay, so how cool is that? And we have just a little different perspective and I have my, uh, this mm -hmm. is one of that new, new little dies and I think I love this. Again, of course, I have all these dies. Mm. Oh, in fact, show me show me that again. I'll show you what I'm working on. Uh, can I just say that I actually kind of like this one better. Do yeah. And where would you like to put this? Because see, it could go anywhere. I'm going to let you put this one on. Okay. And then I just add little gems. But you can see these are some new dies that I'm working on. And I'm using a bunch of these in the card kit this month. Or uh, for the next month. I'm working ahead here. But do you see how I keep these in? I do... A whole bunch at one time. So I'll do my half sheet of cardstock and lay out as many dies as I can. 
And that's how I get multiple of dies. And then I run it through 20 times and I have 20 of each of those dies. And then they're my, also my feeder space for is working. Okay? Yeah, no, it's perfect. Love it. So how fun is this? And um, then I will add one on the inside. And that is how simple and pretty. Now we did these cards, I don't know, maybe a couple years ago. I, you know, I bring ideas back because you look at ideas, you change your paper and mm. it's just so fun again. And then what was fun about this one, this would work for a lot of papers too. And you see, we just popped up some of these. Um, I, I think of any kind of paper that has a lot of little things on it, but isn't that fun to just pop up a few? Yep. And so that is a darling little, you know, your sweetest honey, a nice little thank you card. And of course you can always put in a little coffee card mm. with it. And these and uh, this one, which is just my favorite. So, you know, this is the challenge over the backport stampers. We have a drawing every week for someone. You're just all doing matchbook cards and you're going to use any paper you have. And we're going to see lots of variations. That's what I love. You know, I love to say we are more creative together than we are individually. So I love starting something and seeing what you guys, you can add more layers. You can think of other things to put inside. You can do, these fit in regular envelopes, the regular card envelopes. I have one right here. So this would be just a regular size. It is a quarter inch shorter than, but you, you never know it in a card. So it is totally, so you don't need to make envelopes. So it is perfect. These do not stand up. They're more of an interactive card where they do it. So standing them up, I don't think would really work. So they're ones that I need to get um, a little thing to put cards on for a little thing. Cause you know, cause when you want to display cards like this, cause it's not a stand up, but it is called an interactive card because you do a little something with it. Uh, we often do these at Valentine's day too. You can put a little Valentine treat bag. You can make them smaller. You know, there's nothing about the size and you know how to do the size. Start with your lip and then just kind of figure out the other and just you make it fit. So if you were doing Valentine treats, let's say for 20 kids, you'd make them small, but you could do anything. Or if you're doing tea bags, this would be cute for, for a tea party. I would downsize it, put a tea bag inside and a nice thing for the afternoon tea. And then you'd have that tea cup on the front. And wouldn't that be fun to put at everyone's place? So I love taking an idea and see where we can go with it. I just think that's so fun. And we love that you guys do this all with you. So I can't wait to see what you're doing. So thanks guys. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. I appreciate that. Any mm -hmm. like button, anything else you do and call me, let me know if you have any questions. And wait, uh -huh. guess what today is? What is it? 040424. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I like those kinds of things. Karen doesn't care. <laughs> Oh, 404, 24. <laughs>